Thank you, JD. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the March Home Hub informational session. I'm Danielle Ottimer, business manager for the marketing group, and we're here today to talk about our amazing program, Home Hub. So everybody is talking about Home Hub, all the new exciting enhancements, homeowner dashboard, and wonderful features you can use with your current and buyer seller clients, past clients, and sphere of influence contacts too. You can add all those people into your agent branded, complimentary, remember, Home Hub platform. And now you can add your trusted preferred vendors too, which we're super excited about. Now our Home Hub online platform and app developer program partner is MoveEasy. They're here today to give an overview of the program and talk about its key features to show you why an agent should use this program. It's my pleasure to introduce Kate Lesour, MoveEasy Senior Customer Success Manager. So let's dive right in. Kate, take it away. All right. Um, I'm I'm honored that there are some people that have already been on this training. I recognize a few of you. Um, and I'm glad that you weren't sick of me the first time and that you're back. So <laughs> that's very exciting. Um, all right. So uh, yeah, Danielle basically said what we're going to review today. And before I really get into the slides, um, I want to share, <laughs> excuse me, how um, this is going to be definitely another overview just because it is still getting very popular among a lot of the agents and the ASCs. Um, but moving forward, we're really going to make a point to um, show how this is going to help with business development. So next month, we're going to focus on like actually doing from uh, staying in touch with your contact, um, contact to close, and then we're going to do something with some open houses. So just ideas on how you're able to use this really to start to capture leads and provide value at open houses. So want to just do a plug for those classes coming up. And um, this one is going to be just that, that overview, um, and we'll go live into the platform. I feel like I should still give my regular intro as uh, even though everyone here is familiar, I talk a little quick. Um, so if you need me to uh, to stop, pause, uh, review, just unmute and go ahead and do that. Um, I usually have someone helping with the chat. She's a little under the weather, so I will try to manage that might help me stay a little slower. So, all right, let's talk about um, Home Hub. So if I don't have a uh, agenda, I will just kind of keep talking and not stay to the course. So uh, what we're going to discuss today, what is it, why you want to use it, and how it works. I think those are some of the most important things. So what is this uh, platform dashboard, um, why you want to use it, and then obviously the logistics behind how it works, and then we're going to go live into the platform. So we're actually going to review three platforms today, a moving platform, a uh, homeowner platform, and then the agent dashboard, which is where you're able to do um, a lot of the fun stuff now that is available on, on Home Hub. Um, then we're going to discuss who we are and what we're not, because usually at that time, we get a lot of questions, people being like, okay, wait, I think I like the product, uh, but I do want to discuss a few other things. So we're going to um, preemptively at answer all of the questions that I bet you're going to be having during the middle of the training. Um, and then if there are any other questions, we'll get into that. So um, obviously this is uh, experienced a couple changes um, and very exciting changes. That's kind of the point of this uh, informational session today. So it started as this is our list um, and it keeps growing. And there was a lot of uh, feedback that we received from agents and um, that Danielle received and, and they've answered that feedback, the agent's ability to add their own home pros and vendors. So for those of you that are like, you know, wondering what, why this is so incredible. Well, one, um, it really gets the agent to personalize that dashboard. But now as I'm a licensed agent, everyone calls me and they're like, I need a, an electrician. I need a plumber. I need a kitchen contractor. Now, rather than just giving them a list or not that we've ever done this, but forget to get back to them with our list of people, right? Now we can actually send them a link that's a lead capture component, right? We want to stay top of mind with all of those agents. Um, and that's really what this is going to be able to do. So adding our own vendors um, to this platform. That's why we're doing this whole new training. But now you're like, okay, wait, back up. What is it? So this is a platform, a dashboard that helps people during the moving process. Everything from finding movers to setting up utilities to finding great deals on internet, cable security, even solar options. So all of that is now part of this Home Hub Concierge service. 
But you're thinking, okay, well, what if I don't have someone that's currently buying or selling? Is this still beneficial to me? And that's where that homeownership dashboard comes into play. It's very helpful to stay top of mind. Just by a show of hands, has anyone moved in the past couple of years? Has anyone ever moved in their life and remembers how terrible it was? Okay, maybe I'll just start with that question then, right? Moving is not fun. It's exhausting. It's stressful. Um, you know, just remembering everything that you need to do. We laugh. I mean, people forget about homeowners insurance all the time. They forget like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with my pets during the move? You know, the movers are there throwing furniture around. This is a dashboard that will help your client with all of that. And it's totally complimentary and to the to the client and branded to you, the agent. So how does that work? All right. Once a deal has gone pending, um, all right, it is going to trigger an invite to the agent. So you have that transaction. It goes into a pending status. The agent is going to get an email first, and that's going to say, congratulations on your you know, successful transaction with Danielle. Um, you, we're going to reach out to her in the next 24 hours unless you tell us not to. So I will tell everyone right now, my whole family is in real estate. My mom absolutely hates technology. So anytime <laughs> I say, hey, mom, there's a new real estate tech tool you got to learn, she's going to totally shut off and be like, absolutely not. I understand right now there's probably people like, I don't want to learn anything. I don't want to have to remember when to do something. And that's the best part is that this is an automated system. So if you're already like, this chick is talking way too fast. I can't listen anymore. I'm going to sign off. I'm going to ask that you listen to one last thing. All you need to know to do in this platform is to remind your client to expect an email uh, inviting them to the Home Hub Concierge service. So we just talked about how moving is so awful. If someone were to call me and say, hey, I'm here to help you uh, schedule your movers to find the best cable deal to do this, that, you know, and the other, I'm going to say, okay, this is fake. This is spam. They want my identity. They want my address. I'm not going to believe it. But if my agent tells me to expect this incredible complimentary service, I'm then going to be like, okay, I was expecting this. I know to give my information and it's all safe. So that's the only training in all of this tech training. Of course, I'm going to give you so much more if you want to stay on. But the only thing that really matters is once that deal has gone pending and you get the email, you need to add to your system, text, call, email your, your client and remind them that they're going to get this invite. So what happens on that invitation? I see a chat here. So Michael, the agent will not, the, it's going to go, actually it's, it's, uh, it's automated. So that email will go to the agent first. You can hit decline on that email and I'll show you exactly what that email looks like. But if you do nothing, it's going to go. So it's default is that it's going to invite your client. You are able to turn it off, but the default is not that it's off. I hope that makes sense. All right. Once that client gets invited, then we're going to obviously go through those utilities, internet, cable, moving, utility providers, home security. And when I'm training, the realtor in me wants to give you some talking points. So you're at an open house, you're doing a buyer tour, and you're wanting to talk about your value prop and how this is going to differentiate you from everyone. Here's a great talking point uh, when it comes to the moving companies. We have vetted those moving services. So they have to be in business for at least five years. They have to have an A or A plus rating on the Better Business Bureau, and they have to have insurance. So this is something you could very easily talk to your buyer about while they're, you know, going through the, um, uh, you know, a, a tour of a home um, or, uh, you know, just to give to your value prop. So once that moving um, process has happened, and I did see the other question, I'm trying to multitask here. I think it's going to be on this next slide. So uh, if it's not, just um, uh, interrupt me real quick. But once they have done that whole moving process, they get access to the homeownership dashboard. I'm going to be very threatening with this statistic, but it is a real statistic. There's, I think it's 89% of clients forget their agent's name after one year. That's a very sad thought, right? Uh, you know, it could even be more than that. We need to make sure that we are top of mind with everything real estate. So imagine giving access to a homeownership dashboard that has your face and your name and your phone number in the corner that is everything real estate related, that anything your client could ever look up or need 
or want to keep organized with their home, they then will have access on that homeownership dashboard so that you are never forgotten. All right. So those emails, um, shoot, I thought I was going to have the subject line on here. I will get that um, to, to answer the question. I will get the, the email subject line over. Kate, to not, not to interrupt you. I think it's welcome to Home Hub, your complimentary you know, program. So it has the word welcome in it, I believe. Perfect. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Mike gave a thumbs up. All right. So the uh, agent email will be coming first. So it's going to say congratulations. It's going to, um, you know, on the house that you just sold or, or listed or whatever it may be. Um, and you can scroll down to the bottom and hit disable if you want to disable that invite. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend doing that, but in some cases, there are people that we need to disable. Maybe they're not moving into the property, so they don't need the utilities. Maybe it's a land deal. You know, Maybe they don't need the moving services. You can disable, and it, then we will not reach out to that client. But again, if you do nothing, this is the best part. There's no training involved. If you do nothing, it's going to go. They're going to get invited. Your client will get this email here that's on the right of the screen. And from that email, there's a few things that they're able to do because not every client likes the internet. Not every client likes phone calls. We've offered both options for their concierge. So from here, they can go right onto the dashboard, which is what I'm going to show you what it looks like, or they can schedule a call with their concierge. So back to that whole miserable moving experience that we've all had. Uh, we have made phone calls for internet, cable, electric, gas, water. Overall, we're probably on the phone you know, eight hours, maybe even more when we're trying to find a great moving company. This is one 30-minute phone call, all right? One 30-minute phone call, they will set all that up. That's the service that we're providing. That's really important to, uh, again, differentiate ourselves from other people that are, um, are looking at uh, the agents to help them in their process. Um, all right, I'm gonna, I see some of these questions. I'm gonna have to come back to a few. Um, but I wanted to show you how this communication cadence works, okay? So keeping in mind that the agent is going to get an email first. This is probably some of our most common questions, so I'll, I'll try to take it a little slow here. Once that deal has gone pending, this is day one of it going pending, okay? So this number one, number two, number three, a week after it's gone pending, then two weeks, three weeks. That's what those numbers are referring to. So day one, after it's gone pending, your client gets an email and a text. The reason we reach out twice is because, again, if I were to get an email um, from someone the day that my house has gone pending or my deal has gone pending, um, and it says, I'm going to do all these great things for you, one, I'm probably not going to believe it. But two, how many emails are your clients getting after they have now bought a house? you know, every other company in the world is trying to reach out to them. Um, so they're going to probably miss it. So we text them to remind them about that email. And then if both of those kind of get, uh, you know, pushed aside, we then call them on the next day. If at that point they don't ever answer or respond or do anything, whether they say yes or no, we continue this cadence with an email, a call, a text, a call, and then a final email. If your client does nothing on any of these outreaches, then on day 21, we say, thank you, uh, or you know, congratulations on your new home. Um, we will not bother you again, but we are here if you need anything. So I'm just going to take a quick break because people are getting reached out to all the time from all these different companies. There are eight outreaches on the screen right now, and that is all that we will do for your client. We do not call them 20 million times a day. We are not reaching out every day back to back to back. What you see on the screen is when we'll reach out to those clients and that's it. All right, I see a couple other chats. Um, okay, thank you. Uh, Danielle, I'm gonna just hope that you see some of those chats and if it's a, if I need to stop, just interrupt me then just because. Um, yeah, I got Deb's answered and then just Brent has, um... He said his uh, does, do, doesn't identify the property or customer's name in the email. It should have the customer's name. Yeah, it definitely it definitely should. So, Brett, if you want to, uh, he can forward me one of those. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that he's not looking at the initial welcome to the agent dashboard one. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have to look at what the difference of those would be. But I would love to see why that is not showing it. Um, okay, so now we did the how it works. What is it? Um, why we want to, or excuse me, how it works and now why you want to use it. Okay. 
Again, it's automated. Um, there's a lot of technology tools out there for real estate agents, and it's overwhelming. How great is it to have one that you don't really need to do anything with, that you just need to know it exists? We want to make sure um, that your client, we're getting the correct client information so that they do get that invite and then giving them incredible service. Uh, one of the ways to stay remembered as an agent, um, as a real estate agent, is to give incredible service. And that's what this is going to do. Staying top of mind, that's obviously very important as an agent. We don't want to be forgotten. And then being the source of all things real estate with this new feature, adding your own vendors. That's what we're going to focus on when we go into the agent dashboard. And of course, um, supporting those core services, Coast One Mortgage, uh, that would be important to um, uh, keep that in uh, those deals in-house. So I am now going to show you what this dashboard looks like. Um, and I think it is important uh, to show you the client side first, mostly because um, I think um, um, we want you to be able to see what your client's going to see. And then if there's anything on this dashboard or platform that really speaks to you, make a note of it while I'm going through it so that you have your own talking points for those clients. So this is me logging into the moving dashboard. All right. So it says, where am I moving from? And I'm going to scroll down. And again, this is available. The phone call does the exact same thing. So there is a uh, an online portal. And then there's also the phone call as well. My phone call is going to be with Jesus. Jesus is a real person. We are based out of Columbus, Ohio, and somewhere in Utah. I'm not exactly sure the city. But they are real people. They are stateside. They are establishing rapport with your clients. They are not artificial intelligence. Uh, it's not a bot overseas. They are real people. So you'll see all of the different options on this dashboard. But what really what we want to look up, uh, look to is up here. And I'll be very quick with this because this is that automated piece. So I want to schedule a moving service. Just going through your client can do all of this themselves. And then at the bottom, you'll notice call or message Jesus and tell him what you want. You can request this information online without ever having to make the phone call. Um, they'll send you three different movers. Um, you want to update your address with the post office. You want to look for those different utility providers in your area. Um, internet and cable. You can go through and find the best internet and cable deals as well. Um, and then uh, if you're interested in security, not having to go to the DMV, do the license um, uh, switch online. A lot of stuff that I don't think people realize they need help with when they are moving, right? Again, all um, branded to my agent. So Katie agent up here, this is my agent. That would be your name and your phone number up at the top um, promoting this, this dashboard. What I really want to share with you, uh, here we go is the homeowner dashboard. So hopefully we're seeing, yes, my homeowner dashboard. All right, so this is the one that will keep us top of mind forever, all right? And this is important. I know there are a lot of agents out there, and I'm sure some on this call, that you do all of that moving stuff for your client. You give them their own your, your own list of, of utility providers, and you share your own kind of presentation. So you're like, is this beneficial for me? Absolutely. Okay. This is even more beneficial for agents staying top of mind with this homeowner dashboard. So um, poor Danielle has heard this story numerous times. I bought my house in 2020 and it's literally been falling apart since we bought it. We have finally put in for our new kitchen, but it was basically never updated since I don't even know the 1800s. So it needs a lot of work. We have a ton of receipts, insurance claims, warranty information. And I used to just throw it in the back of my closet in this big crate and it wasn't organized. I didn't even know how to handle it with any of my taxes. And now I have access to this homeowner dashboard where I can upload all of those different documents and keep everything organized with my home. So we're gonna look through, all right. Right now I can check to make sure that I have the best deal on all of my different utilities. This is a great, this is another great story. I love my stories. I have so many. So I was doing, um, I was talking to an agent whose um, husband, and if you heard this last time, sorry, you have to hear it again, whose husband calls the cable company every six months and threatens to leave because he found a better deal. All right. 
And of course, what does the cable company say to him? Oh, no, no, we're going to match that. Don't leave. Like, we'll give you that exact same price, right? He does this every six months. Imagine having a concierge service that's doing that for you so that that husband as I'm sure he loves doing it just you know every six months very much but now you have a concierge that's going to do that on your behalf um, again making the agent stay in top of mind at um, offering these services when someone calls and they say oh do you have your account information how many of you know the really long letter number digit for all of your different accounts we don't remember that, right? We have to go find our old like paper bill somewhere to give that information. You can keep all of that organized on your homeowner dashboard as well. I scroll down. I want to check that I have the best homeowner's insurance. I have the best cable. You'll see um, the uh, warranty information, keeping track of the stuff at your home. This is totally private to the client. So I can actually click on my documents. I can keep all of this organized on a dashboard rather than in the back of my closet. Another great thing for your clients to use, again, keeping you top of mind. And now the last thing I'm going to show you is this home valuation piece. So if you are already bored or you're getting over it, I'm going to say, come back because this is exciting stuff. This next part is really beneficial for those clients. I am constantly looking online for the, the next home project I can do. What's the best project to get the return on my investment? Can I buy another investment property? What equity do I have in my home? So all of that stuff, clients are looking at online and they're Googling it. What happens when they put it in Google? They're getting a million different answers from a million different mortgage companies and brokerages. We wanna be the source of all things real estate. So from here, I'm gonna click on home valuation. And you'll see my estimated home value. And then it should have Katie's picture right here. But of course, this is more of a teaser, right? As, an, as a, a client, I'm like, wow, those are kind of all over the board. I'm going to reach out to my agent. And there's your first lead capture uh, button. I scroll down. I see what's left on my mortgage, what my equity balance is. I scroll down. There's my balance. And let's say I want to just pay an extra $150 a month. This is a dynamic calculator. I scroll down, I put in my interest rate, I hit calculate. I can now save 15,000 and pay off my loan four years earlier. So this is again, a great thing for your clients to have access to. And when they look at it and they're like, oh wow, my house is worth a lot more than I thought. Or um, you know, my, um, um, I have more equity, I could buy an investment property. They then can reach out to the mortgage company or to their agent to do so. I scroll down and then I was just saying, wow, my house is worth more than I thought. I don't want to have to redo the kitchen. I just want to sell it. I can put in what that sales price is that is up on the top of the screen with my home valuation. What are my proceeds? That purchase price of my new home. And again, I have a dynamic calculator. I can hit calculate at that current interest rate. And it's going to give me what my average monthly payment's going to be. So I can look at what my principal, my interest, my homeowner's insurance, I can fill out other expenses if I want to really get a good idea on what that's going to be. Keeping in mind that this is more of a teaser for those clients um, that are then going to reach out to you, the agent. I scroll down, it gives me my equity. I can look at a HELOC breakdown in case I'm interested in pulling out a HELOC. Different blogs on what I can do with that money from my um, home equity loan line of credit. And then down here. So if I wanted to redo my kitchen, I can click view more details and look at different financing options. Or I can click on explore home pros and try to find a great kitchen contractor. What happens when I do this? My agent is going to get an email that says I actually clicked on this and that I'm looking at redoing my kitchen. As the agent, I always make that joke. You can be super creepy and call them and say, oh, are you redoing your kitchen? And they're gonna be like, how did you know? That's really creepy that you know all that. Or you could be a little bit more stealth and say, hey, I know when you bought the home, you were looking to redo a few things. How is that going? Would you like me to, um, to come over and give some like a CMA or some ideas on that process? Again, getting in front of the client wanting to stay um, top of mind with them. So this dashboard is available to all of your clients. In fact, I would invite 
every client I've had from 2020, from 2021, 2022. And I'd say, here's an, an awesome complimentary dashboard available for, for you to use um, to keep everything organized and top of mind with your home, your accounts, your home value, your equity, your a list of trusted home pros. So that is the part that you are able to um, to uh, to now modify and edit. We're going to show that here in a moment. But I wanted to show under trusted pros. We'll look at um, I don't know. We'll look at an appraiser. So I can fill this out. What am I looking for? I hit next. And if there's not an appraiser that's been put in here, don't worry. We have a full on research team that would look for your client and give them an answer within 24 to 48 hours. So this is a great, it's like, a, it's like your own personal Angie's list, right? That you can give to all of your clients, again, keeping yourself top of mind. I saw a ton of things coming in through the chat. Danielle, is there anything we need to... Um, Go yeah, over. Yeah, thank group. you, Kate. Um, I've got a couple. Michelle, uh, let's go back to Michelle Cruz's. How does the platform uh, change from a moving dashboard to a home ownership dashboard? You know, how do how does someone navigate that? Yeah, so that's a great question. Okay, so Michelle, mm -hmm. um, great question. We have a couple ways we're doing this. So right now, about two weeks, uh, I believe it was 14 days after um, someone has, is on the moving dashboard and we have that close date we're going to switch them to the home ownership dashboard and it's going to pull all of that data with them. So I think right now we're at 14 days um, when that will switch. The other thing that we're working on right now, and I will let Danielle know um, when we have that completed is we're actually going to have the ability to toggle. So think about someone that might have uh, another home, but also selling their home or they want to be on the homeowner dashboard, but they're looking to buy a new home. Um, we're going to work on a way to toggle that. So there'll be two different ways that um, that will switch. Um, Kate, along that question, I've been asked this, um, hey, what if we've got someone that's a renter, right? And we know as a real estate agent, they may transition into a future home buyer, which is great, which we want as real estate agents. Could we add a renter into the program as a sphere contact? You know, Danielle, I it's not my A game today because that is an incredible question and I should have brought this up. So absolutely bring this to renters. Renters can keep everything. I mean, they should, they also have, usually have to pay for their own utilities, right? They should be mm -hmm. on this a hundred percent. The best part about that is when they're on the home, I'm not even going to say home owner dashboard, we'll say home management because it is for renters too. If you click on your next move, it's then going to ask you, okay, so, you know, I don't, I don't currently have a you know a house or whatever. So I can just be like, okay, I'm renting it, whatever. Where are you moving? You put that information in. We're going to go back to Cleveland, Ohio. I hit okay. I hit next. And then it's going to notify. They can click on notify the agent. So think about that renter that's like, okay, I think I'm ready to get out of here. I want to move. I want to get to that dashboard. It's going to be, again, a great way to capture a lead by offering this. Am I even showing my screen? I'm not. I was not showing my screen that entire time. Oh my gosh, I need more coffee. That is so terrible. Okay, let's try that one more time. So you give this to a renter. Up at the top, it's gonna say your next move. They click on that. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm embarrassed that I didn't even have that. No worries. All right. So this house, I'm just, let's just say I'm renting it. So we'll go back to rent it. I hit next. I am moving to Cleveland, Ohio. I hit okay. And now this is where I can notify my agent. So think about those renters. You send this out to all of them. They can then notify their agent. The agent will then also can also send them over to Coast One Mortgage to get their pre-approval from uh, the dashboard as well. It's it's very uh, it's awesome for renters. And and Kate, along that point too, because I've been asked by um, several agents in ASC to assure you. Um, our, our core service providers, that's uh, Coast One Mortgage, Coast One Title, Woodland Title, America's Preferred Home Warranty, they are already present in the program, um, and they're there for everyone to use. So you don't really have to add them as an additional vendor into your account because they're already built into the program, if that makes sense. Um, okay, I see the other questions. I'm going to get to those. So, um. Mm -hmm. Really quick, uh, we're going to go into the agent. Well, you know, give me one moment. I want to just get to 
who we are and what we're not. And and Kate, while you're doing that, just to confirm with Sarah Kelly and Crystal Morrison, I will help you um, get logged into your accounts. So we can work on that today if you've got time. Great. All right. So before we get into the agent dashboard, I'm going to answer a lot of the questions that I think most of you might already have. So who we are and what we're not. We usually get questions that um, people, you know, as an as a real estate agent, our clients are the most important thing in the world to us. They're our book of business. That's how we're going to get our referral and, you know, future clients. So it's very scary to be, um, you know, sharing that information with, uh, with the home health concierge. And I understand that. A few things I want to point out. It is totally private to you. Only you see your clients. Um, it is branded to you on your dashboard. So once that concierge gets the information, there's no one else that uh, they share that contact with, all right? It is branded to the agent. So that agent gets, um, excuse me, that client, their first phone call says, congratulations with your um, with your deal with Kate at, uh, Kate Lassure at, um, you know, Caldwell Banker Schmidt. Um, and we are here with Home Hub Concierge to help with the moving services. Totally branded to the agent, branded to the brokerage. They will bring up that agent um, in the process. PCI compliant. This is a big one that a lot of people ask. So you're going to have those clients that say, I really don't want to give any information over the phone. Honestly, in today's day and age, they're going to probably have to make one phone call, at least one that's going to set up one of those utilities. In theory, they might have to give their information to the water company, the sewer company, the, the cable, internet, um, you know, water, electric, gas. That's a lot of people they're sharing their number with. We are just one person. Again, 30 minutes, but we are PCI compliant. That is the highest level of compliance whenever you're taking any personal information. We can't, um, there's 12 different standards. You can actually look it up if you're interested, but there's 12 different standards that we have to abide by that gives us that credential. So you can know that we are very safe and secure. Complimentary, this is totally free. Uh, my boss always says we try not to say free because it sounds cheap, but it also sounds very free. All right. It is totally complimentary to you, the agent, and to the client. It's a no-brainer when it comes to um, to using it to help with your, um, excuse me, to help with your um, uh, staying top of mind and providing that service. They are real people. I think that's a big thing that sets us apart. We are real people doing this for your client. They again establish that rapport. Um, they are in the same time zone. It just makes it feel much more like your personal assistant. In fact, um, when I have a deal, and you guys can take this wording from me if you want, when I have a deal, I tell my client, my personal moving team will be calling you to schedule your utilities. And at that point, typically someone's like, oh, you have a personal moving team. And I'm going to say like, yeah, I'm like the best real estate out there. Uh, of course, I have a personal moving team and I'm going to offer them to you. So that's exactly how it feels. And then authorized dealers, we are on the sites doing it in real time. We are setting up their, their internet, their cable um, in real time for that client. We do not spam, sell, or share your client's data, all right? That is so important to understand. We do not spam. We Those eight outreaches that I've shared before, that's all that it is. We do not sell their data. There are a lot of companies out there. That's how they're making their money. They sell the, the client's information, and then your client gets 9,000 messages from Wayfair and Home Depot and Lowe's. We do not do that, all right? Um, in fact, I wish Katie was on because she usually says, if uh, if you say that it is us calling you constantly, she will bet her paycheck it's not. That's how confident she is in that it's not us spamming those clients. And then we do not share any of the, uh, the data, uh, clients information with any vendor unless the client clicks on a disclaimer that says, please give our information to the mortgage company, to the insurance company. All right. We will not uh, we will not share it unless they have clicked that they are OK with that. All right, so let's go into the agent dashboard and I'm gonna give you some fun little homework assignments here. Okay, so here we are, I'm on the agent dashboard. I know one of the questions that keeps coming up into the in the chat is how do you get here? So um, Danielle can certainly help with that if you do have any questions, but um, you wanna click from the initial welcome email. We can resend the welcome email, but if you wanted to just search right now, uh, search for Move Easy in your, um, I think the first email is gonna come from Move Easy. You can search Home Hub. You will find that initial invite 
Once you have the URL to log in, bookmark it. You want to save that URL so that you know um, uh, you have access to it whenever you need it. Danielle, do you want to chime in about anything or did I get that pretty spot on? No, I think you're spot on. And we also have some great, uh, when you're in here and to invite to Michelle Cruz's point, you know, how do I invite a you know, potential client or sphere person and get to this point with these buttons? We have a really great short video tip on how to do that right in the ASC staff uh, resources and our regular Home Hub Square for everyone, and then a one page or two as well, so. Um, sorry, I just saw Brent's message. And Brent, you have I did no too, idea yes. the <laughs> ideas I have on how you can share this. It's coming, network. Brent, it's coming. So just now the suspense is killing him, I'm sure. He's I like, know, oh, he's, he's getting ahead of us, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are on the agent dashboard. Um, again, there's not much to it. It's very self-explanatory. But you might um, have a client that say, hey, can you resend me that invite? I do want access to the, to the concierge or I can't find it with all this other emails coming through. From your dashboard, you're gonna see this action button. You can just click resend right from that action button. So that's the first training right there. When your client calls and they say, can you resend that to me? That's exactly how you can do it. All right, let's say that you wanted to invite a client before a deal is going pending. You've got that type A client, you know the deal's going through, they've already wanted to schedule all of their utilities. Up here, you see invite client, you can click on that and you're gonna have three different options, new buyer, new seller, and sphere of influence. If you click on, um, excuse me, if you um, want to send this to a, a buyer, even though you know it's automated, so you don't have to use this, but you wanna get it to them early, as long as you're using the same email in this invite that's in Dash, then it will not duplicate. Or in the transaction, I should say, that email, it will not duplicate. It will only send it once. So all you need is that first name, last name, and email. Scroll down, you can hit send. Um, and there you go, they have access. I always suggest changing this automated messaging. If you are spending time doing an individual invite to someone, that's incredible. Just tell them first and make this personalized. I would say something like, um, you know, it was so great. Um, yeah, I'm so excited for your new home. Maybe they're a first time home buyer. This is a great way to, to stay on top of everything. Just add a little sentence in there that makes it personalized to them so that they're like, okay, this really did come from my agent. And of course, call and email and text and remind them to expect it. You can do the same thing with new buyer, new seller. And then Brent, the first way, and don't worry, we're going to get to social media, but the first way you can invite everyone to the homeowner dashboard. And let me tell you, if you're able to do this right now, invite yourself, invite your spouse, invite your sibling, invite your kid, invite everyone, because it is just such a beneficial way to stay again, uh, keep everything organized with their home. If you do want to sign yourself up, just use a different, try to use a personal email rather than your um, real estate email. It could get a little confused, but I'm going to click on sphere of influence up here at the top. You're going to notice there's an asterisk, first name, last name, email. That's it. That's all you need to invite someone. You don't even need to know where they currently live right now. As long as you have their email, you can send them this invite. Um, you can set, so set yourself up if you'd like, but of course, let's say you want to send everyone from 2020, 2021, 2022, you click invite multiple sphere in uh, contacts. There's a template here that you can download and then add all of your contacts to and upload. But even better, your ASCs can help you do this. So if you want to invite your entire sphere, they have seen a video. There are tech tips out there. I think it's like three minutes. We all have three minutes, right? That shows exactly how to do it. So they can help you with that if you need help. Let's say you're all about this. You want to invite them, but you really want to make sure you have all of your vendors on there before that you send it. So um, let, I want to share this online and I want to say, everyone's always asking me for, um, you know, an electrician or a contractor, sign up for my complimentary home hub app to access my trusted pros. I've got to get my trusted pros on there before I share this, right? So there's this lovely new button that says add vendor in the top right corner. You click on add vendor. All you need is that vendor name and telephone number to add them. But of course, the more information, the more it's going to stick out. That's what we want. I saw a question earlier about wanting to check the different vendors in your area. Well, a few things about that. 
as an agent, um, I really like my electrician and he's really busy and I don't want Danielle's clients to ever see him or use him or know that he exists, right? That's my electrician. So as an agent, if I add my electrician to my dashboard, only my clients will see him. So agents can, they don't share automatically all of the different people that have been added. So you certainly want to add yours, know that they are only available to your client. And when your client is on that site, it's going to say agent preferred. So they're going to see that you've added that vendor and that you trust that, you know, that trusted pro, um, which is a great way then for them to want to use it because they know it's coming highly recommended from their agent. If you want to add more than one um, vendor at a time, up here, you're going to see add multiple vendors in the same way that you can add that CSV file of all of your contacts. You can do it here with uh, different vendors. So just download that template and upload it um, and they will all appear. There are vendors for just about everything you could think of. All right. So add those vendors in there, share this out, you know, maybe for spring cleaning, it'd be a nice little social media post. Everyone's looking to get their house ready for spring and summer. Here's a list of my trusted pros that I recommend. What I tell agents at this point, actually send this to the vendors. If you have their email, invite them to your home hub dashboard and tell them, show them that they're getting this added exposure, that they're getting a, a more advertising and marketing so that when their client, when your client reaches out to them, that they give them just a little bit extra service or a little bit extra priority than everyone else, or we can just take them off the site. Use that to your advantage, right? Leverage that a little bit. I'm going to show a few more things before we get into some of those fun marketing ideas. So on this page over here, you're going to see vendors. Someone had asked where you can view vendors if they have been added at an office level or a brokerage level. Under view my vendors, this is going to be a standalone page of all of the different vendors that are available. So I'm wondering if we have someone that's been added to, I have to refresh this. Did I look at home inspectors? Oh, there we go. So home inspectors. So you'll see some that have been added at the brokerage level under inspectors. So this would be available to every agent to see. But if you added one, it would say agent preferred instead of CB preferred. Okay, just so you're aware of how that looks on, um, on the client site. All right, the other thing I wanna show is again, under this vendors option, you're gonna see utility providers. So this is available across the entire United States. You want referral money, right? That's the best type of money. I want some referrals and not have to do much besides know someone. What a great way to use this to send it to everyone in your sphere, even if they don't live uh, in your footprint. You can actually look up those different utilities anywhere in the country. I'll just do my own home at the moment. And it will pull all that information so you can see what utilities are in each of those different um, locations. So you can send this to your client uh, who has moved out of your market area, or you can just look it up and give it to them so that they know what great service you've provided. All right, I'm going to show you some fun ideas. Oops, sorry, one second. All right, so we just went live on that agent dashboard. Now, before we get into some of that fun stuff, there are a ton of marketing materials that are available to you from your incredible marketing team. Um, it is amazing. I meet with Danielle uh, twice a month and um, it is, uh, you guys arguably are the most organized, well um, handled brokerage between marketing, between JD and training, leadership. So use all of that to your advantage. This is already done for you. There's great marketing materials. I'm going to show you a few on the other pages to get this out to your client. So remember the only training involved, because I know we've done a lot already. The only training involved is knowing that this exists and it's a complimentary automated service to your client. You want to tell your client about it. You want to put it in presentations. You want to bring it up early, often, always. So again, that incredible service, that's what we want to be able to um, share with them. And your marketing team has a ton of great um, uh, pieces for you to use. 
I was a high school teacher, so I'm always going to give homework no matter what. You don't have to do any of it, but of course you should. So here are five steps to uh, for success, and your ASCs are aware of these as well. So the first thing, the most important, discussing early, often, always with our client, and then tour the platform. Tour, tour the platform as a client and as an agent. Just become familiar with it. I think one of the um, kind of bittersweet things about an automated system is that it happens automatically how easy that is for you but because we're not doing anything sometimes we forget about it we forget that it's there that that we want to utilize it so periodically go in and tour that platform modify and uh and edit your profile as needed add those vendors and then share with your clients share that url every which way that you possibly can where are some ideas that you're able to do that? So these are some examples of where um, the marketing team has really come into play. And Danielle and I, I think our, our brain trust here, came up with the idea of making gift tags with a QR code for the URL for those agents. So you can actually make a QR code for your URL, and we'll show that here in one moment, and put it on little like closing gifts. Here's access. Thank you. You know, here's your deal. Maybe they didn't use the moving dashboard, but you want them to use the homeowner dashboard. So you stay top of mind. You can put it on a, a nice little gift tag and give them that closing gift. There's postcards where you can um, give them access to Home Hub uh, around Halloween, which we've obviously is not close by, but put it on stickers and put it on, on uh, the candy going around. When people see a QR code, they want to scan it, right? That's what they want to do. What a great way to stay top of mind with those uh, individuals. I'm going to show you where I do that QR code and what that looks like in a moment, um, but there will be another Home Hub. I got to plug the next session on April 19th at 11 a.m. So please join that one. We're going to get a little bit more into some lead capture ideas. Um, I'll probably be using my standing desk because I'll be super excited explaining everything. And you're definitely going to need coffee before that one. Um, but it will be a great, a great class. Please join for um, that if you are available. And then I will show. Hopefully we're still seeing my screen. It keeps going back and forth. Awesome. All right. So I wanted to show. When I log in as an agent, an actual agent in the system, so I'm going to pick Mike. I'm going to go in as Mike because he asked a question and I remember Mike's name. So when I go in as Mike, all right, his URL right up here, all right, it's whatever this this darkened piece, it's first name dash last name dot dot com. That is his lead capture URL. That he should be putting into uh, his signature on uh, his email signature on Facebook, on LinkedIn, everywhere he can think of, and he should make a QR code with it. And how does he do that? One, I believe, Danielle, the marketing team can help with that. Yeah. So just send over the request to me and we've got a QR code maker. Actually, CJ handles that and I work with her and we get that made for you and then put it on all the materials. You can even put it on business cards. I mean, you know, how great is that? Um, actually, that's a great idea. I was mm -hmm. asking, hopefully I had that. Yes, on business cards as well. But um, if you're interested in what this looks like, I'll show you uh, what that lead capture landing page looks like. So it will just say, again, obviously no one has signed in yet, but this is what it would be to, um, to log in. It's complimentary, no strings attached. You can send this out to everyone to give them access to that homeowner dashboard. And I think, Danielle, I think that's the end of my, oh, I know what you're going to want from me. You don't even need to oh, say Oh, thank it. you. You know yeah. how much I love that. Okay. So um, I, I like showing my face with this one because um, you can see my excitement. We have a ton of great testimonials. And I think this is a really important one to share because it shows the personalized assistance that your clients are going to get. So, um, and I have to tell you the gentleman's name. So I, I joined MoveEasy, which is the parent company of Home Hub, uh, in July of last year. And I said, if I'm talking to agents about this service, I need a, an incredible story to share with them about why their clients would want to use it. So here it is. Here's my great story. All right, Mike Papa Leonardo, he's our VP of customer of um, customer service. He sends me a Google document of all of these different testimonials, and I start reading through it. And on, on page two, I get to absolutely one of the best testimonials. When someone says personalized service, 
it feels like they are really part of your agent team. It's this story right here. So this lovely elderly lady, she is moving. Um, and I, I don't, I, one day I will find a synonym for the word tchotchkes, but it's not today. So this lovely elderly lady has a ton of porcelain tchotchkes. She's got little figurines everywhere. Uh, and they mean a lot to her and she wants to move them and insure them. And it is a very expensive move. So she gets her first quote and, uh, and she says, I can't do this. She sends a message to Papa, Papa Leonardo. So we call him Papa. And she goes, I need a different, I need something else. It's too expensive. So he tries to send another one too expensive. I can't do it. He says, okay, gang, all hands on deck. We have a research team that is there online. They're looking at the requests that come in. They're dealing with those clients. And they're looking and he says, find a way to get this lovely lady moved with all of her porcelain tchotchkes and, uh, and get it under you know a certain price. They actually found a government subsidized program that helps the elderly move. You have to just like, you know, fill out a few things and apply for it. And she gets, uh, she gets this program and gets moved entirely for free, for free, nothing out of pocket. All right. I mean, I just... I think it's just such an incredible story to hear that, that we have one, one lovely little elderly lady that calls our team and everyone stops to help get her moved. And we do. So when you say a personalized assistant, a personalized assistance for that move, please use it when talking to your client, you can reach out to those concierge. You have access to their number, to their email. This is full um, again, an extension of your brand and your team. And please know that um, we are giving that incredible, utmost top tier service. Thank you for story sharing that story, Kate. I love that story. Mm -hmm. um, are there any other questions that needed to be answered or does anyone need me to redo anything that, um, that was discussed today? I think the recording, um, maybe just because I had more caffeine, but the recording from that session last time, I feel like we should share that one too. That yes, we did share that. the last one for sure. And we will record this one too as well. And then we have an additional question from Carly um, down at the bottom of the chat box about the addresses for utility providers, how to get those added to their area. Um, very interesting. Okay, Car uh, um, can Carly send me an email of what the addresses are? So right now we have um, another system that... Um, I'm wondering if it's a very rural area or a township or um, uh, like an unincorporated municipality. Carly, is it any of those? I will say um, there's there's a, um, a different system we have to use when it's like a township because a lot of times the utilities that we pull are by zip code. And if it's one of those, that could be the reason why. But I definitely want whatever um, you have for the area. If you email that to me, we will make sure that it is added and it is correct. Thank you for that. Perfect. Yeah. Did anyone else have any other questions that we can help answer? What we've got, Miss Kate? Well, lucky for you, I'll be back in a month. That's right. <laughs> any other questions? All right. Well, Danielle, thank you so much for the opportunity every month. It's so great um, to see so many people joining. I very much appreciate it. Please reach out if there's any other questions. Um, and Danielle, I'll send the, a similar follow-up with those links if you need them again with the little tech mm -hmm. tips and the CSV files. Great. Thank you so much, Kate, for joining us today um, as a guest speaker. And thank you all agents for embracing this wonderful program and get started using Home Hub today. I think Tracy unmuted. Tracy, did you want to say anything? Thanks, Kate. You did a great job. Danielle, you're always a rock star. Both of you together make a great team. 